Hi everyone, welcome to IAC, South India's best coaching institution. Let's continue with the explanation of the test today. First question, test 8. What is the full form of CRR as used in the banking system? So they're asking like what exactly the CRR refers to. Okay. So we've got various options. The first option is nothing but a crucial reserve ratio. The second one is a cash reserve ratio, compulsory return rate, credit and reserve ratio, none of these. See very very important terminology is nothing but CRR. CRR stands for cash reserve ratio. What exactly is this cash reserve ratio? This is what we need to understand. Remember that uh, in banking system, we've got Reserve Bank of India, which is a regulator of all the banks, banks in the country. And we've got a lot of uh, banks, commercial banks. Now, it is requirement that every commercial bank will have to deposit a certain percentage of NDTL, certain percentage of what uh, NDTL. What does NDTL stands for? Net demand and time liabilities with whom with Reserve Bank of India. So how much amount of NDTL to be deposited with RBI? So that is called as a cash reserve ratio. What is it called as a cash reserve ratio? Means sir, some amount of the NDTL that is in the form of cash to be deposited with RBI, to be reserved with RBI. So it's called as a cash reserve ratio. And remember that current CRR is nothing but 3%. How much it is a three percent? So three percent of the net demand and time liabilities to be deposited with the RBI. See here, demand and time liabilities. Demand liabilities refer to the demand deposits. Demand deposits. And time liabilities refers to something like a fixed deposits. Okay. So whatever is the net value of the demand deposits, savings account or current account, fixed deposits or recurring deposits, time deposits. So this deposits, value of this, some 3% of this should be deposited with the RB. This is nothing but cash reserve ratio. So very, very important uh, this term, uh, cash reserve ratio. Right, next one. ANBC stands for. Very, very important. Options are annual net bank rate, average net bank rate, adjusted net bank rate, average national bank rate, annual net borrowing secret. So the answer is nothing but adjusted net bank credit, A and B, C. See, why is this useful? See here. Whenever banks lend loans to customers, okay, we have a concept called as a PSL, Priority Sector Lending. What is it called as a priority sector lending? When we speak about priority sector lending, uh, this term comes into the picture. So there is a rule that 40% uh, of the loans for different banks, this is different, but average is like 40%. 40% of uh, ANBC, out of the total credit that uh, banks gives to all the customers, 40% should be given to the customers under priority sectors. Under priority sectors. So under this circumstance, the word ANBC is used. Adjusted net bank credit. Right? So credit and take it up. Credit is nothing but a loan. Next one. What is the full form of SEBI? Very, very important financial institution. And most of you are aware of this. The answer is nothing but a Securities Exchange Board of India. Securities Exchange Board of India. Very, very important. Remember that SEBI is the regulator of the capital markets in the country. Whatever the stock market that you listen to, all these things, sir, all are regulated by SEBI, Securities Exchange Board of India. This SEBI came into existence in the year 1988 and it started functioning from 1992. It became a statutory body. Statutory body means as per act was passed, SEBI act was passed to give powers to SEBI. So it became a statutory body in 1992. And the headquarters of SEBI is present in Mumbai. And Ajay Tag is the chairman of SEBI. So very important institution called as SEBI. One question was asked in examinations on SEBI. What is the question? 
They asked you, what is the name of the educational wing of SEBI? There are institutions established by SEBI. That is called as NASM. National Institutes for Security Markets. So NASM is an institution that actually trains people by offering certificates on stock markets. If you wanted to understand the fundamentals of the stock markets, you should do certifications from NASM and you will become a certified person in the stock market so that you can get some employment in the stock markets, right? This is with respect to SEBI, Security Exchange Board of India. Give full form of FSDC. So what are options we have? Financial Stability and Development Council, Financial Security and Development Council, Financial Statistic and Development Council, Financial Stability and Descriptive Council, none of this. The answer is the first one, there is one Financial Stability and Development Council, FSDC, is very, very important. Remember that there is various markets present in the country, okay, different, different markets. What are the markets, sir? Let's say as we discuss capital market, we have got something called as a money market. We have got uh, something called as uh, uh, you can you can call it as uh, uh, pension market, pension funds and all those things. Okay, let me see. You have got various uh, divisions. For example, uh, you got insurance market, and we also got insolvency and bankruptcy code. Now all these are different different divisions of the financial systems of the country. Capital markets are regulated by SEBI. Money market is regulated by Reserve Bank of India. Pension markets are regulated by Pension Fund Regulatory and Development Authority (PFRDA). Insurance market is regulated by IRDA, Insurance Regulatory and Development Authority of India. And IBC Insolvency and Bankruptcy Code is regulated by IBBA Insolvency and Bankruptcy Board of India. Now. All these institutions have to be in sync. Means all these institutions have to be coordinated. To coordinate among all these institutions, uh, we have got one organization that is called as a Financial Stability and Development Council. Remember that the chairman of FSDC will be Finance Minister. Very, very important. So this is an important uh, answer. Finance Minister is going to be the chairman of uh, FSDC. And the subcommittee of FSDC will be headed by RB Corner. So like this, uh, all these markets are being coordinated by Financial Stability and Development Council. Very, very important. What is the tagline of the Axis Bank? I said you that in banking, these questions are asked. Barthi ke naam zindagi. Barthi ka naam zindagi. This is the tagline of uh, Axis Bank. So it's a very simple question. Which among the following banks are not headquartered in Mumbai? They are not asking you which is headquartered in Mumbai. They are asking which is not headquartered in Mumbai. If you see Axis Bank, HDFC, IDFC, Lakshmi Vilas Bank, ICICI, it is not E, it is the only ICICI. Okay. The right answer would be Lakshmi Vilas Bank because Lakshmi Vilas Bank is headquartered in Chennai. So this is the answer. So except Lakshmi Vilas Bank, remaining banks are headquartered in Mumbai. What is the currency of Bangladesh? See, here, very simple. You all know that uh, what options here? Rupee, Taka, Rupiah, Rupiah, Cat. When you come to this uh, Bangladesh, okay, very important. The capital of Bangladesh is nothing but Dhaka. Okay, and the currency is Taka. So there is a synchronization, Dhaka, Taka. So instead of DH, if you put uh, T, then it becomes Taka, Dhaka, Taka. So the capital of Bangladesh is Dhaka and the currency is nothing but uh, Dhaka, very, very important. And Dhaka is important because Dhaka is the most densely populated city in the world. So every square kilometers, almost 47,000 people are residing per every square kilometers. The density is the highest in the world. So that's very, very important. And you know, rupee is the currency of India and uh, rufia, rupiah. So all these are something like very close. Okay. We have got Indonesia, all this, uh, I've got rupiah, rupiah. And we've got CAT. Myanmar has got currency called CAT. So very important. Maina CAT walk is a code that you can remember. What is the capital of Burundi? This is an important question. What are the options we have? We have got Helsinki, we have got Prestine, we got Bujumbura, we have got Gitega, we have got Tawai at all. Remember that. Earlier the capital of Burundi was Bujumbura, but now the capital is nothing but Gitega. 
So Gitega is the current capital of Gitega. Gitega is the current capital of Burundi. Very, very, very important. Okay. See here, there is something called as atoll. What is the meaning of this atoll? Tawa, Tarawa atoll. What is the meaning of this atoll? Atolls are a different landscape. For example, let us say that uh, there is a uh, mountains under the ocean. Now, when there is a mountain uh, under uh, one mountain like this, volcano has come and they, uh, something like mountain was created. Slowly, because of erosion, this will get eroded, 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 and it comes in line with the sea level in the ocean. Now, what happens? Uh, finally, this will become something like this. This wealthy will be inside the ocean and on top you have got something called coral reefs. Because of the coral reefs, okay, it is completely covered with the coral reefs on side and then in between there will be a water. So this is called as atolls. Okay. So like this, uh, there is a place called Tarawa Atoll also. Like this atoll is a very very important geographical division. Here right answer for capital of Burundi is nothing but Gitega. Remember not Bujumbura, it is a Gitega. Which of the following is a form of small savings bank popular among the poor or children? See here. When you say children, okay, you know that people, children are very passionate to save their money in small, small, uh, you know, articles. There are some small, like, uh, you know, small kiddie banks. So the word here uses nothing but piggy banking. This is very, very popular among the children. Very, very popular. Core banking refers to the basic functionalities of the bank such as deposits and loans and all those things credit banking refers to only giving loans debit banking refers to only accepting deposits okay merchant banking is like uh, you're trying to assist and assist people in doing the businesses that's called merchant banking okay only for businesses you lend loans that's called as merchant banking and piggy banking is something very popular among the poor people who are doing very very small savings so piggy bank is the right answer in case demand draft is issued, the liability of the bank will be very nice uh, analytical question. Option A, demand liability. Option B, time liability. Option C, current liability. Option D, long term liability. Option none of this. What is this liability? Liability is nothing that a bank will have to fulfill a commitment. That is called as a liability. Fulfilling a commitment from the bank perspective is called as a liability. Now demand draft. What is this demand draft? How do you get a demand draft? You go to a bank. You make the payment. You get a DD in the name of uh, the bank, right? Means what? Uh, whenever the DD is submitted back to the bank, you can give the DD to any institution. They will use the DD and submit it to the bank and they'll get money from the bank, whatever you are deposited. Means what? Uh, whenever bank gives a DD, bank is telling that whenever you someone submits this to our bank, we will pay you this amount of money. Means what? On demand, the bank will pay the money. So obviously, this is nothing but a demand liability, very, very important. What is it called as a demand liability? So demand draft is issued and the liability of the bank will be what? Demand liability, very, very important. Time liability means what? Only after specified time period, I will give you the money. Demand liability means whenever you submit that to us, we'll have to give the money. So that is the difference. Current liability means as on date liability. Long term liability means not in the near future, but very, very long time after that money will be given back. That's called long term liability. So your answer is demand liability. Where is Greater Himalayan National Park situated? Very nice question. This is a previous question basically. Okay. Option A, Uttarakhand. Option B, Himachal Pradesh. Option C, Jammu and Kashmir. Option D, Arunachal Pradesh. And option E is nothing but none of these. Now, if you see, here the right answer is obviously Himachal Pradesh. Okay. How do you remember that? See, I have got one small formula how to remember all the national parks present in Himachal Pradesh. What is that? Uh, Kheer Ganga, Kheer Ganga, flowing from the pinpoint, flowing from the pinpoint of Indrakila, on greater himalayas on greater himalayas is a symbol of is a symbol of lord shiva 
is a symbol of uh, Lord Shiva. Okay, the dragon is not the great, but still, okay. So when you see Lord Shiva, there is a Ganga flowing on top from a point, pinpoint, like a hill on his head is nothing but is a hair. Okay, and this is Shivaling, right? This is like a Himalayas. On the Himalayas, there is Indrakila. On the Indrakila, there is a point, pinpoint. On the from the pinpoint, Ganga is flowing. So I'm saying that here Ganga flowing from the pinpoint. Of Indrakila, this is Indrakila. Indrakila, you know that there is in uh, Ujjwala, Indrakila, on Greater Himalayas. What does that signify? It signifies the symbol of Lord Shiva. Symbol of Lord Shiva. So, what are national parks present in uh, Himachal Pradesh? First of all, Key Ganga National Park, Pin Valley National Park, Indrakila National Park. Greater Himalayas National Park and symbol stands for Symbol Bara National Park. So these are the national parks present in Himachal Pradesh. So obviously Greater Himalayas is present here, so the answer is nothing but Himachal Pradesh. Very simple. Okay. Next one. Where is Indira Gandhi National Park situated? So we have got options as Tamil Nadu, Madhya Pradesh, Rajasthan, Karnataka, none of these. See here, the answer here is Tamil Nadu. What is the answer? Tamil Nadu. So Indira Gandhi National Park. Very, very important. Already I told you. Indira Gandhi was murdered. Indira Gandhi was murdered. By her own gunman. By her own gunman. Near Nilagiris. Near Nilagiris. Yes or no? So Indira Gandhi National Park murdered Yamu, Mudumalai, Mukurti, Mudumalai and Mukurti, Gun, Gundi, Man, Manar, Gulf of Manar and Nilagiris. So how did Indira Gandhi die? If you remember that, she was actually shot by her own gunman. So I can film a sentence and say that Indira Gandhi was murdered by her own gunman here, Nilagiris. So Indira Gandhi National Park is present in Tamil Nadu. Very important. Okay. Raju Gandhi is present in Karnataka. And Sanjay Gandhi is present in Madhya Pradesh, all from the same family. Indira Gandhi in Tamil Nadu, Raju Gandhi in Karnataka, and Sanjay Gandhi in Madhya Pradesh. Okay. In which Indian state is the Pulkat Lake Bur Pulkat Lake Bur Sanctuary located? See, very, very important. Option A, Bihar, Option B, Andhra Pradesh, Option C, Mizoram, Option D, Sikkim, and Option E, none of this. Pulkat Lake, remember that it is the second largest. Lagoon Lake. Lagoons are something created because of sea water. Okay. After the Chilka Lake present in Odisha, Pulikat Lake is the second largest lagoon water lake. Now, this is present in the state of Andhra Pradesh. Very, very, very important. It is present in the state of Andhra Pradesh. It is basically a brackish water. It means salt water will be present in this. So the answer is nothing but Andhra Pradesh. Where is the headquarters of Global Trade and Economy Body Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development located? Very, 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 very important. Okay. So OECD is headquartered in Geneva, in Paris. OECD is headquartered in Paris. Very, very important. Now see here. Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development has got 37 countries as members and 37th country is nothing but Colombia. What is the 37th country? It is nothing but Colombia. Colombia is the 37th country of Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development. Very, very important. Okay. How many countries are the permanent members of the Shanghai Cooperation Organization? SEO, very, very important organization. SEO. Remember that SEO came into existence because of China. China is the one which has initiated this SEO and the headquarters is present in Beijing, China. Beijing is the headquarters of a Shanghai Cooperation Organization. How many are the permanent members? The total permanent members are nothing but 8 countries. 8 countries are the permanent members of SEO. What are the 8 countries? China, 
Russia. After this, we got four stands. Kazakhstan, Tajikistan, then we have got, uh, let me rub out this part, we have got Uzbekistan and we have got uh, Kyrgyzstan. So, to how many stands we have got? Uh, four stands. Okay. So, the next one is nothing but, yes. Kyrgyzstan, sorry, Kyrgyzstan, Uzbekistan. Actually, initially it was called as a Shanghai Five. Why? Because uh, one, two, sorry, two, three, four, five countries were members. When Uzbekistan joined as the sixth country, the name got changed to SCO. After this, very recently, in 2017, 7th country, 8th country became Pakistan and India. With this, the total number of permanent members of the SCO became 8 countries. What are they? Kazakhstan, sorry, China, Russia, Kazakhstan, Tajikistan, Kyrgyzstan, Uzbekistan, Pakistan and India. So, these are the 8 countries which are members of SCO, Shanghai Cooperation Organization. Very important. The Gir Forest National Park is a wildlife sanctuary in which state? Very, very, very famous sir. Gir National Park. Okay. It is present in Gujarat. It is present in Gujarat. So, what is the code to remember the National Park is present in Gujarat? Okay. Black vans transporting. Black ones transporting wild asses from Gear National Park. This is a code. Black. It refers to something called as a black buck. Vans. Vansada. Wild asses. Great run of catch because great run of catch is famous for wild asses. So, wild asses means you remove great run of catch and next one, Gir National Park, which is famous for Asiatic lions. And this is a state animal of Gujarat, Asiatic lion, very important. Okay. So, answer is nothing but Gujarat. So, is the currency of which foreign countries? Very nice. The answer here is nothing but Kyrgyzstan. I told you just now, we have got SEO, Shanghai Cooperation Organization and Kyrgyzstan is one of the members of SEO and the currency is nothing but so. Not only Kyrgyzstan, even Uzbekistan has got the same currency called so. So Kyrgyzstan and Uzbekistan, both of them have got currency called as a so. Other stands I told you, right? One is Tajikistan, it has got a currency called Somani. Somani, some extension of Som, Somani, Tajikistan. Okay, so these are the stands having these uh, currencies, right? Here, you know, Austria is a very, very important uh, place, very country. The capital of Austria is nothing but Vienna. Vienna is the best livable city in the world. Vienna is the best livable city in the world. So, it has been the best livable city for almost last 10 years. So, it's very, very important, uh, which has got many headquarters such as uh, OPEC. Sorry, yes, OPEC, IAEA, and UNIDO. Yes, these are the organizations which are headquartered in Vienna, Austria. Khartoum is the capital of which country? One of the most hunger prone country and one of the most uh, uh, peaceless country in the world, Sudan. So, Sudan capital is nothing but Khartoum. Sudan capital is nothing but Khartoum. Okay. Jersey, we already spoke about this, the Liberability or something. And we spoke about Russia, Moscow, okay, Norway, Oslo. So these are the capitals of these uh, countries. The headquarters of international cooperation for assigned names and numbers is located in the headquarters of uh, internet cooperation for assigned names and numbers is located. 
The options are The Hague, Netherlands, B. Singapore, C. Athens, Greece, D. Los Angeles, USA, and E. None of this. The answer is Los Angeles, USA. So, this is the organization that actually gives something called as a internet protocols, all these, it does the coordination parts. So, this is present in Los Angeles, USA. Remember that the Hague is the headquarters of International Court of Justice. Not only that, International Criminal Court is also acquired in The Hague, in Netherlands. And The Hague is not the capital of Netherlands. That's important. Okay. The bridge Mahatma Gandhi Setu is in which state of India? Options are A. Bihar, B. Uttar Pradesh, C. West Bengal, D. Machya Pradesh, E. None of this. Here the answer is Bihar. Very recent inaugurated by Sri Narendra Modi. Very, very important. Mahatma Gandhi Setu, one of the longest bridges in the country. One of the longest bridges in the country. Mahatma Gandhi, Mahatma Gandhi Setu. It is very close to a city called as a partner, the capital of Bihar. So, very important. Which city is called as city of seven hills? Very, very prominent name. It is nothing but Rome. Rome is called as a city of seven hills. So very, very important. The capital, uh, it is the capital of Italy. It is the capital of uh, Italy. And uh, Rome is also headquarters of important organizations called as FAO, Food and Agriculture Organization, IFAD, International Fund for Agriculture Development. All these are headquartered in Rome, Italy. And you know Berlin, Germany capital is nothing but Berlin. Iran capital is nothing but Tehran and Russia capital is nothing but Moscow. So these are the capital cities of these countries. Berlin or Russia and Iran capital Tehran. Uh, sorry, Berlin, Germany capital is Berlin. Iran capital is Tehran and Russia capital is nothing but Moscow. So very important. Yes, already we have spoke about this. Gir Forest National Park is present in Gujarat. I did not tell you again. I think this is the repeated question, I guess. Yes. Swathling Cup is associated with very, very famous cup of table tennis. Swathling Cup. Very, very important. It is a table tennis which can be played either a per team, one person or two persons can play a table tennis. Very, very important game. Table tennis. When is World Mental Health Day celebrated? Remember, very, very important. World Mental Health Day celebrated on 10th of October. Mental health is a very, very important component and it is said to be the underfunding, underfunding zone. Means what, uh, whatever the funds required by the world to cure the mental health is not, is not sufficient. So it is one domain where there is an underfunding, fund is not given for. And on account of COVID-19, when people are restricted back to their homes, okay, there are some people who are actually suffering from a lot of psychological disorders. So, it is very, very important uh, this Mental Health Day, October 10th. What is the currency of Myanmar? So, I already told you the code is nothing but Maina Catwalk. Maina Catwalk. So, obviously, Myanmar currency is nothing but CAT. So, it is not CAT, KYAT, CAT. So, currency of Myanmar is nothing but CAT. So, CAT is the currency of Myanmar. Russia capital is, uh, currency is nothing but ruble. Russia and Belarus currency is nothing but ruble. Okay. And many countries are having the currency called as a dinar. Serb Kumar is in Tuba jail for dinar scam. Serb, Serbia, Ku, Kuwait, Ma, Macedonia is in Tuba jail, Tunisia, Bahrain for dinar scam. Okay. So all these countries, jail, Jordan, Algeria, Iran, Libya. So Iraq, Libya. So Jordan, Algeria, Iraq, Libya also are having the currency called dinar. So, Serb Kumar is in Tuba jail for dinar currency. Serb, Serbia, Ku, Kuwait, Ma, Macedonia. Serb Kumar is gone. Is in Tuba, Tunisia, Bahrain, jail, Jordan, Algeria, Iraq, Libya. All these are in the currency called as a dinar. Okay. And Kron, Krona, Kron. Okay. E, E and D, Norway and Denmark. I in the currency called Kron. Already I told you this logic. What is that? Uh, krona. K R O N E, Kron, K R O N E. I told you that from A make it as a ASI, Assistant Sub Inspector. From E make it as end, E N D. So becoming Assistant Sub Inspector is the end of his life. Something like you remember. Okay. Now A has come here, for E has come from here. What is the new letters here? The new alphabets are nothing but S I, and here it is nothing but N D. 
for SA is nothing but Sweden and Iceland. For ND it is nothing but Norway and Denmark. So here there is in Krone. So Krone currency is nothing but the currency of both Norway and Denmark. Sweden and Iceland. As simple as that. Okay. This is a way to remember the currencies of various countries. The Maharana Pratap Airport is located in which of the following states? Option A, Ariana, Option B, Bihar, Option C, Madhya Pradesh, Option D, Rajasthan, and now this. All you all know that uh, a lot of uh, this uh, state is known for kings. And obviously, Maharana Pratap will be present in uh, Rajasthan. So, Rajasthan uh, is uh, having this Maharana Pratap uh, International Airport. It is present in Udaipur. Where is it present? Uh, Udaipur. So basically Rajasthan has got two important airports. One is present in Jaipur and one is present in Udaipur. Jaipur International Airport is called as Jaipur International Airport only. When you come to Udaipur International Airport, it is called as Maharana Pratap International Airport. So Maharana Pratap International Airport is present in Udaipur, Rajasthan. Very important. Diprugar in Assam is in which river bank? Very, very simple. Option A is Brahmaputra, Option B is Musi, Option C is Minachal. Inachal and option D is Hooghly. You know that it is at a place called Dibru that river Brahmaputra takes a downturn and enters it towards Bangladesh. And that place also is obviously with what? Brahmaputra. And Brahmaputra river has got different names in different different parts of the countries. Okay. For example, if you go to Tibet, they are calling it as a Yarlang Sangpo. What is the name? Yarlang Sangpo. The name of the, name of the country, river Brahmaputra is a Yarlang Sangpo in Tibet. When you come to Arunachal Pradesh, Dihang, or it's also called as Siang in Arunachal Pradesh. When you come to Assam, it's called as Brahmaputra. When you go to Bangladesh, it's called as Jamuna. So the same river has got various names in various parts of the country. So that's how Brahmaputra River is famous. Where India is a Murlain National Park, very very small state, there is nothing but Mizoram. So Mizoram is the home for this Murlain National Park. Very few national parks are present in the Northeast because small small states and Murlain National Park is present in the state of Mizoram. That's important. Because basically remembering the Northeastern National Parks are a bit difficult. So give due importance to this. The Champagne Paugar Archaeological Park is located in which state? Very very important. In the 8th century, in the 8th century, okay, there was a king called as One Raj. One Raj. He is the one who is responsible for this. It is present in the state of Gujarat. It is present in the state of Gujarat. So, Champanir Paugad Archaeological Park. There is also fort kind of a thing present. Okay. Javai Dam. Is situated in which state of India? Javai Dam is actually on the river called as the Javai, and the river called as the Javai is a tributary of one more river called as the Luni. And when I say the word Luni, you'll obviously remember it is present in the state of uh, Rajasthan. So Javai Dam is present in the state of uh, Rajasthan. So Javai is a tributary of uh, river Luni. Nataraja temple is located in which Indian state? Remember that Nataraja is a god of dances. God of a dance. And is one form of Lord Shiva. Lord Shiva. And most of the Shiva temples you find in Tamil Nadu. So the answer is nothing but Tamil Nadu. So Nataraja, Lord of Dance. Normally when some people give a good performance also, they will be presented with a memento having a Lord Nataraja. So that's very important. Sri Guru Ramdas Ji International Airport is located in which state? Very, very important. You should understand that uh, Guru Ramdas Ji is a Sikh Guru. Sikh Guru. Okay. There are a lot of Sikh Gurus, right from Guru Gobind Singh, Guru Arjun Singh, many people. One of the such in the lineage, one of the Gurus is nothing but Guru Ramdas Ji. And uh, this International Airport is named uh, after Guru Ramdas Ji because uh, he is a founder of uh, city Amritsar. Amritsar and Golden Temple, all these contributions are done by Guru Ramdas Ji. So it is present in Punjab, Amritsar. Very, very important Guru Ramdas Ji International Airport. Who is the author of the book from Heaven Lake? Remember that. The answer here is Vikram Seth. So this person has been a good traveler. He traveled through China and Tibet, all these regions, and he spoke to the 
uh, nomadic Muslims, Buddhists, Chinese officials, uh, and you understood different different perspectives of the people in different different parts of the uh, these countries. And uh, he has brought all his experiences, uh, all his uh, understandings about the different perspectives of people in the book called as uh, from heaven like. So the answer is nothing but uh, Vikram Seth. Very nice book. Uh, it was published somewhere in 1980s. In which state is the Mudumalai Wildlife Sanctuary? All I told you, right? Indira Gandhi was murdered. Murdered, I underlined MU. I told you MU stands for two things. Mudumalai and Mukurti. Okay. And Indira Gandhi was murdered by her own gunman near Nilagiri, I said. So, Mukurti and Mudumalai. So, Mudumalai is present in, obviously, Tamil Nadu. So, that code is actually helping us to get an answer by this question. So that's all that course are important. Where is the Chandoli National Park located? To understand this, okay, you should understand the code. What is the code? Uh, Sanjay Gandhi Express. Traveled from. Mail got to board got. Sanjay Gandhi Express traveled from Melga to Borgat via CGTN stations. Very simple. See, how, how do you relate this to Maharashtra? Okay. See, remember, these ghats, places named after ghats will be mostly in Maharashtra only, generally. So, Melga is a source station, Borgat is a destination. So, Melga, Borgat are two things. Sanjay Gandhi, that is the third thing. CGTN, Chandoli, Gugamal, Tadoba, Navekwan. Chendoli, Gugamal, Tadoba, Navigon. So what is the code saying? There is a train called Sanjay Gandhi Express starting from Melgar. It is going to Borgat. In between stations are nothing but CGTN. So you see in uh, Maharashtra, in Mumbai, we have got uh, Chhatrapati Shivaji Terminal, CSTN. Where you got words like something TN, something TN. So here CGTN. Chendoli, Gugamal, Tadoba, Navigon. What are they asking here? Chendoli National Park. So obviously it is present in the state of uh, Maharashtra. So remember the code for Maharashtra, Sanjay Gandhi Express travelled from Melgaard to Borgaard via CGTN stations. Okay, so here answer is Maharashtra. Clear? Yeah. Billy Jean King Cup is associated with which sports? Option A, basketball. Option B, women's tennis. Option C, women's hockey, golf. And so. Remember that... Billie Jean, she is a famous tennis player and on her name, they have kept this cup which is meant for the women's tennis only. So, it is specially meant for women's tennis. Very, very important. Billie Jean King Cup. When is the World Post Day observed? Very, very important. The answer is 9th October. Internet, you have got uh, diverse answers. Few people mentioned 10th October, but it's actually 9th October. It is the day on which uh, UPU was established, Universal Postal Union. Remember that uh, Universal Postal Union is headquartered in Bern, Switzerland. And it is the second oldest international organization in the world. Second oldest international organization in the world, UPU. Second oldest international organization in the world. And then which is the first international, old, uh, first oldest international organization in the world? ITU, International Telecom Union, which is headquartered in Geneva, Switzerland. So, ITU, International Telecom Union, is the oldest international organization in the world. UPU, Universal Postal Union, is the second oldest international organization in the world. And this is headquartered in Bern, Switzerland. And 9th October is celebrated as World Post Day. Very, very important comfort communication perspective. Tertali is a popular folk dance of which state of India? Tertal is a popular folk dance of Madhya Pradesh. Very important. Madhya Pradesh dance. Tertal. Very important question. When was Rashtriya Ekta Divas, the birthday of Sardar Vallabhai Patel, also known as Iron Man of India, was celebrated across India? Remember that. Sardar Vallabhai Patel is called as a strong man of India. You take any strongest person in the world, you put it as of India, then you get the answer as Sardar Vallabhai Patel. For example, Bismarck of India, Mussolini of India is none other than Sardar Vallabhai Patel. 
He is the one who is responsible for merging the various princely states in the Indian Union. So his birthday is celebrated as Rashtriya Ekta Divas. And it is celebrated on October 31st, which is the birthday of Sardar Vallabhai Patel. Birthday of Sardar Vallabhai Patel. October 31st. October 31st. Very, very, very important. Okay. On the same day, Indra Gandhi was assassinated. Indra Gandhi was assassinated. Same October 31st. Same October 31st. Okay. That's very important. November 1st is nothing but vegan day. This is November 1st as a vegan day. Vegans are the people who do not consume anything that comes from the animals. I'll give the word as like this. Vegans. Means they do not take any animal products. It can be egg. It can be wool. It can be leather items. They do not use anything that comes from animals. These people are called as the vegans. They say that one third of the fresh water in the world, which is being utilized, is utilized for the raising of the animals. So they say that if when you become a vegan, you don't raise animals. When you don't raise animals, human beings will be getting advantage of this extra one third amount of the water which is being utilized. So vegans, number first, remember that. Where is the headquarters of Ujjivan Small Finance Bank located? The headquarters is present in Kormangla, it is present in Bengaluru. So Bengaluru is a place called Kormangla. There is the headquarters of Ujjivan Small Finance Bank. Okay. So that's all from my end for today. All the best. I hope you are getting a good test. Let's meet again one more time. Thank you. Signing off. Narsimaridi. Kya Thank you.